Oh, there you are. One of the things I learned early on to stop my glasses steaming up, if you get masking tape or medical tape, fold it over and put it on the inside of the mask, it adheres to your face and stops your glasses from steaming. However, it's a bitch getting it off. Ah! Oh! Whoa, that hurt. I'm the first one in here. Oh, look at all those little COVID viruses blowing around. Look. <laughs> Marvelous. It feels like London in 1940. <laughs> How nice to see you all. Well, thank you for coming out. Anybody come over from Annapolis? Really? And how long were you stuck at the Bay Bridge? <laughs> I came over, I, I live in Arnold. I live 10 minutes from the Bay Bridge. It took me an hour and 10 minutes this evening. Oh, I can see you're all just bleeding with sympathy for me. Uh, did you all have a good St. Patrick's Day? Oh, lovely. I had a great St. Patrick's Day myself. I had an an awful lot to drink, as, as we do. And uh, I was sensible this year, though, for the first time. I took a bus home. It's amazing, I've never driven one before. <laughs> Putting it back was a killer. <laughs> I'm gonna start with my usual start-off song. And the reason, I've, I've been doing the same song for uh, about 50, by the way, this is my 50th year in professional Irish entertainment here in the United States. Honest to God. But not till August. Okay, so don't, don't applaud yet. But August is when I started. My old partner and I, Tom O'Carroll, we were known as the Beggar Men. And we started off, I didn't know that we were going to do it for a living. It was just one of those things. We fell into it and here we go 50 years later. You never learn. Anyway, the song that I always start with is Whiskey in the Jar. And the reason I do is because I'm testing you. If you guys respond well, I know the show is going to go well. And if you don't, it means I'm actually gonna have to work. <laughs> so what we do here, we come to the chorus, I sing, my shering da madu ramada, clap your hands four times. Then I sing, whack for the daddy, oh, clap your hands twice. Then I sing, whack for the daddy -o again, clap your hands once. There's whiskey in the jar. Four, two, one. Ready? My shering da madu ramada, whack for the daddy -o. whack for the daddy -o. There's whiskey. Oh, you people haven't a clue what to do, have you? First time doing Irish performance here, okay. Sorry, I got some slow learners here, okay. We come to the chorus, I sing, Masha ring dum a -doo, -a clap your hands four times, clap, clap. Don't help them! If you help them, they'll never learn how to do it themselves. Masha ring dum a -doo, -a -da. clap, 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 clap. Four, whack for the daddy -o. clap, clap. Two, whack for the daddy -o. there's whiskey in the jar. Four, two, one. Might need you to help them. <laughs> Masha ring dum a -doo, -a -da. <laughs> Just clap anywhere you want. Okay, right. As I was going over the far fake Kerry Mountains, I met Captain Farrell and his money he was counting. First produced my pistol, I then produced my rapier, saying stand and deliver. I am a bold saver, my shuring dum a doo rum a da Whack fall the daddy o Whack fall the daddy o there's whiskey in the jar. If you don't get that first one right, you're playing catch up the whole way. Right? I counted out his money and it made a pretty penny. Put it in my pocket and I brought it back to Jenny. She sighed and she swore she never would betray me. But the devil take the women, for they never can be easy. Mushering the Madu Ramada. Whack all the daddy o Whack all the daddy o There's whiskey in the jar. I then went to my chamber for to take a slumber. I dreamt of golden jewels. Sure, it was no wonder. 
Jenny drew my charges, filled them up with water, and sent for Captain Farrell to be ready for the slaughter. By sharing the Madu Ramada, whack fall the daddy o, whack fall the daddy o. There's whiskey in the jar. Was early in the morning before I rose to travel. Up came a band of footmen, likewise Captain Farrell. I first produced my pistol. She'd stolen away my rapier. I couldn't shoot the water, so prisoner I was taken. By sharing the Madu Ramada. Black fall the daddy oh, black fall the daddy oh. There's whiskey in the jar. If you could see the concentration on your faces. Now there's some take delight in the hurley and the bowling. Others take delight in the carriages a rolling. I take delight in the juice of the barley and courting pretty fair mates in the morning bright and early. By sharing the Madu Ramada. Whack fall the daddy o, whack fall the daddy o. There's whiskey in the jar, my shirring da ma do ra ma da. Whack fall the daddy o, whack fall the daddy o. There's whiskey in the jar. How about a round of applause for our beginners? Didn't they do well? That wasn't hard at all once you get into it, was it? I've been informed that there's a lady here tonight celebrating her birthday. Her name is Marie. Where is Marie? She's not here. There's no point singing it, is there? Really? It'd be a waste. Where are you, Marie? Hello. Happy birthday. Marie, the dawn is breaking. Marie, my heart is it. I'm not old enough to remember that one. Let's sing happy birthday to her, that'd be the easiest way. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Marie, happy birthday to you. Let's hear it for Marie, our birthday girl. Oh, the drinks are on her, the drinks are on her, the drinks are on Marie, oh, the drinks are on her. We have a lovely tradition here at the Stoltz Pavilion. When we sing happy birthday to a lovely lady such as Marie, she has to buy a round of drinks for everyone in the tent. That really is a tradition, isn't it? I'm not just making this up, am I? No. You guys would purge yourselves for a drink? <laughs> that was a stupid question at an Irish show, wasn't it? Uh, anyway, um, here's a little fact. I really didn't want to share this with you, but it's true. I was in the men's room back there in the big wagon and uh, doing my business at the urinal, and beside me I heard... Oh, Wilbur. <laughs> Look at it. It's a horse trailer. <laughs> Rolling right along. We're, aren't, aren't we having fun now? We're going to do something good. Right. Uh, there's a gentleman who lives in Annapolis, and he's originally from the county Kerry in Ireland. So I'm going to do a song for him. Carry me back to old Virginia. No, that's not it. His name is John Barry. And John used to own about five different Irish pubs in D.C. and Maryland. And I worked in every one of them for him. And if it wasn't for people like John Barry opening Irish pubs and hiring people like me, most of the Irish guys around here, like Brian Gaffney and Pat Garvey and all those per wonderful performers, wouldn't be doing what we do for a living. And John is currently uh, under the weather. And you see, in Ireland, we have uh, a wonderful way of playing down something serious. Uh, John, has, he's come down with a wee dose of the cancer. But he's got an absolutely marvelous outlook on life. And so I want to just send out my thoughts to Mr. John Barry and do 
a song that he was renowned for. When we played in a John Barry pub, we'd call him up on stage to sing with us. And he did a, an old music hall, it's a vaudeville song called Hello Patsy Fagan. And it was set in Glasgow in Scotland. An Irish guy went over from County Kerry to Glasgow in Scotland and he worked on the construction sites carrying bricks and mortar. So this is the John Barry tribute song. I'm working here in Glasgow, I've got a decent job. I'm carrying bricks and mortar and me pay is 15 bob. I rise up in the morning, I rise up with the lark. And as I'm walking down the street, I can hear the girls remark, Hello, Patsy Fagan, you can hear the girls all cry. Hello, Patsy Fagan, you're the apple of me eye. You're a decent boy from Ireland, there's no one can deny. You're a harem scare, I'm a devil may care, I'm a decent Irish boy. When I left old Ireland many long months ago, left my home in Kerry, and to Scotland I did go. When I left old Ireland, it always was my plan to let the people always see I'm a decent Irish man. Hello, Patsy Fagan, you're the apple of me eye. Hello, Patsy Fagan, you can hear the girls all cry. You're a decent boy from Ireland, there's no one can deny. You're a harem scare, I'm a devil may care, I'm a decent Irish boy. If there's one among you would like to marry me I'll take you to my little home across the Irish Sea I'll dress you up in satin, I'll do the best I can To let the people see that I'm a decent Irish man Everybody do the leg kick! Hello, Patsy Fagan, you're the apple of me eye Hello, Patsy Fagan, you can hear the girls all cry You're a decent boy from Ireland, there's no one can deny You're a harem scare, I'm a devil may care, I'm a decent Irish boy For the great John Barry uh, Being from County Kerry, he also likes to hear his own County song. All the counties in Ireland have their own theme songs, you know. And uh, John, it's like a national anthem if you're from that particular county. And John's county of Kerry has a lovely song called The Rose of Tralee, which I'll do for you now while you're all still sober. Because God knows how long that's going to last. <laughs> The pale moon was rising above the green mountain The sun was declining beneath the blue sea As I strayed with my love to the pure crystal fountain That stands in the beautiful vale of Trolley. She was lovely and fair like a rose of the summer. Yet it was not her beauty alone that won me. Oh no, it was the truth in her eyes ever dawning that made me love Mary the Rose of Trolley. The cool shades of evening their mantles were shedding when Mary all smiling sat listening to me. The moon through the valley her pale rays was spreading when I won the heart of the rose of Trolley. She was lovely and fair like a rose of the summer. Yet it was not her beauty 
alone that won me. Oh no, twas the truth in her eyes ever dawning that made me love Mary, the rose of Trolley. For Mr. John Barry. Thank you very much. Uh, springtime is here. And I saw the first sign of spring today when, yes, it was a Scotsman throwing out his Christmas tree. Uh, I also saw the first bug splat on my windshield coming over here. So I believe that's a good sign as well. But I'm going to do a couple of springtime songs. Now, I don't know if you've been following me on uh, Facebook, but well, since this COVID lockdown began, I, I did a whole bunch of little sets of songs, nine or 10 songs about different themes. And uh, I was gonna do this one, but I figured I'd try them out here tonight and see how they went. A couple of springtime songs. The last one I did was all beer songs. I did like 10 beer songs, but well, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then I was gonna do whiskey songs, but, but springtime kicked in first. So I'm gonna try a couple of springtime thingies here. Don't go away, I'm gonna change instruments. You know, these, these like, groups of four, you look like panels of judges on American Idol. I mean, serious. Gonna hold up the scorecards? Oh, oh the, the East German judge gave me 2.1. <laughs> Jerks, they never forget, do they? Oh. This first one, a song called The Rambles of Spring. It was written by the great Tommy Makem. And when he played with the Clancy Brothers and on his albums, he played a banjo. So I figured, if I'm going to copy Tommy Megham, I may as well do it right. There's a piercing wintry breeze blowing through the budding trees. I've buttoned up my coat to keep me warm. And the days are on the men, and I'm on the road again. With my fiddle snug and close beneath my arm. I have a fine felt hat and a strong pair of brogues. I have a rosin in my pocket for me bow. And me fiddle strings are new and I've learned a tune or two. So I'm well prepared to ramble on must go. I'm as happy as a king when I catch a breath of spring. And the grass is turning green as winter ends. And the geese are on the wing and the thrushes start to sing. I'm headed down the road to see my friends. I've a fine felt hat and a strong pair of brogues. I have rosin in me pocket for me bow. And me fiddle strings are new. I've learned a tune or two, so I'm well prepared to ramble and must go. I have friends in every town as I ramble up and down, making music at the markets and the fairs. To the donkeys and the creels and the farmers making deals And the yellow-headed tinker selling wares I've a fine felt hat and a strong pair of brogues I have rosin in me pocket for me bow And me fiddle strings are new and I've learned a tune or two So I'm well prepared to ramble and must go Here's a health to one and all, to the big and to the small, to rich and poor alike and foe and friend. And when we return again, may our foes have turned to friends. May peace and joy be with you until then. I've a fine felt hat and a strong pair of brogues. I have rosin in my pocket for me bow. And my fiddle strings are new. I've learned a tune or two, so I'm well prepared to rumble and must go. I've a fine felt hat and a strong pair of brogues. I have rosin in my pocket for me bow. 
and my fiddle strings are new, and I've learned a tune or two, so I'm well prepared for ramble and must go. How me make him? I mentioned that I was going to do a series of whiskey songs when I did the next batch on, on YouTube. And one of the ones uh, I want to do for you now is uh, a classic by one of my heroes, Grandpa Jones. Remember Grandpa Jones on Hee Haw? And there was him and Buck Owens and Roy Clark. Grandpa, what's for supper? Hog jowls and chitlins, yum, yum. Uh. <laughs> of course, they would all get together and sing, Where, oh, where are you tonight? Why did you leave me here all alone? I searched the world over and I thought I'd found true love. You met another and <laughs> you was gone. <laughs> but the one that he was famous for it was a, a tune called That Good Old Mountain Dew. So, I hope you remember it. There's a big holler tree just down the road from me Where you lay down a dollar or two You go around the bend when you come back again There's a jug of that good old Mountain Dew They call it that good old Mountain Dew and them that refuse it are few I'll shut up my mug if you fill up my jug With that good old Mountain Dew My cousin Nort, he sawed off in short He measures about four foot two But he thinks he's a giant If you give him a pint of that good old Mountain Dew They call it that good old Mountain Dew them that refuse it are few. I'll shut up my mug if you fill up my jug with that good old Mountain Dew. My old Aunt June bought some brand new perfume. It's got such a wonderful pew. But to her surprise, when she had it analyzed, it was nothing but good old Mountain Dew. They call it that good old Mountain Dew. And then that refuse it are few. I'll shut up my mug if you fill up my jug with that good old Mountain Dew. My Uncle Bill's got a still on the hill where he runs off a gallon or two. The buzzards in the sky get so drunk they can't fly from smelling his Mountain Dew. They call it that good old Mountain Dew. And them that refuse it are few I'll shut up my mug if you fill up my jug With that good old Mountain Dew The preacher drove by with his head high stood high Said his wife had come down with the flu He said he thought I ought to give him a quart Of that good old Mountain Dew They call it that good old Mountain Dew and them that refuse it are few I'll shut up my mug if you fill up my jug With that good old Mountain Dew Sing it with me! They call it that good old Mountain Dew And them that refuse it are few I'll shut up my mug if you fill up my jug With that good old Mountain Dew Grandpa! I know, let's get this thing in. Somebody stole the neck off my banjo. Those of you who've never seen one of these before, this is one. It's a very old traditional Irish instrument. It's called a drum. Now, actually, we've got different names for these in Ireland, depending on what part of Ireland you come from. Way out in the west of Ireland, around Connemara, where they speak the Gaelic, 
It's made with a goat skin. They call it a Bowron. Town around County Kerry, where John Barry comes from. It's made with the skin of a dog. They call it a Bowron. <laughs> Up in the north of Ireland, where I come from, we call it a Boron. It's made with the skin of an Englishman. Don't laugh. Did you ever skin one of those things? Did you ever field dress one at the side of the road and drive home with it strapped to your roof rack? And the big old head flopping down on the windshield, you know. Hear the antlers rapping, I guess. The Irish used to play the Bowrons marching into battle. In the front line, there'd be 20 or 30 of these things battering away just like this. Bringing up the rear, there'd be 30 or 40 bagpipes droning in the background. It's no wonder the Irish never won a battle. All the other sides had guns. There's our boys out in the front line marching to certain death. There she was just a walking down the street singing. I didn't know you knew those old Irish war songs. I'm impressed. Oh, look, first day of spring and he's got his shorts on. <laughs> when are you getting your big boy pants? You know what I would look like if I died, went to heaven and became a saint? Uh, people don't know it, but anything you can do on a full set of drums, you can also do on a bow run. For instance, a drum roll. There's no such thing as a cheap laugh, they're all good. But you want to see how it's played? You control the tones by pressing against the inside of the head with your fingertips, your hand. Depending where you press, how hard you press, you get different sounds. The stick is known as a tipper or a beater. You hold it like a pencil and you shake it like an old style thermometer. Or as my son said, Dad, that's like shaking a ball of snot off your fingertip. <laughs> oh, she's not laughing. Well, I couldn't see anyway, she's got a mask on, but, <laughs> but her eyes aren't laughing. She's a wiper. There are five kinds of people in the world. Shakers, wipers, rollers, flickers, and... Okay, I won't do it. <laughs> the song I'm gonna do for you, I got from my heroes, the Clancy Brothers and Tommy Megan. And uh, this, I think this was on their Carnegie Hall album. And it's about uh, a glutton, a fellow called Johnny McElDoo. It starts off at a reasonable pace, and as the song goes along, it just starts to pick up a little bit. There was Johnny McElDoo and McGee and me, and a couple or two or three went on a spree. One day, we had a bob or two, which we knew how to blew. The beer and whiskey flew, and we all felt gay. We visited McCann's, McLeman's, Humpty Dan's. We then went into Swan's, our stomachs for to pack. We ordered up a feed, which indeed we did need, and we finished it with speed, but we still felt slack. Johnny McElDoo turned red, white, and blue, and a plate of Irish stew he soon put out of sight. He shouted out on core with a roar for some more. He never felt before such a keen appetite. He ordered eggs and ham, legs of lamb, bread and jam, but him we couldn't cram, though we tried our level best. Everything we brought, cold or hot, mattered not. Went down him like a shot, and he still stood the test. He ordered tripe and lard, did the yard, we get scarred. We thought it would go hard when the waiter brought the bill. We told him to give ore, but he swore he could lower twice as much again and more before he had his fill. He polished off a trough full of broth, said McGrath. He'll devour the tablecloth if you don't howl him in He ate a dozen fowl, half a cow made a vow He was just as hungry now as when he did begin McElDoo began to howl and the scowl made me sowl And he threw an empty bowl at the shopkeeper's head Struck for Mickey Finn, peeled the skin off his chin Then the ruction did begin and we all fought and bled The peelers did arrive, man alive, four or five At us they made a drive for to march us all away We paid for all the meat that we ate, stood a treat 
and went home to ruminate on the spree that day. Don't tell anybody you saw me drinking this, okay? <laughs> Years of reputation shot in one swell foop. Here, boy. Come on. So hard to train them. Do you feel like singing a song? Yeah. Lovely. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, you want me to start? Okay. Here's a great singing song. It's from my neck of the woods. It's from up in County Antrim. No, it's not. It just made that up. It was originally Scottish, but an Irish group from County Antrim, from my hometown, called the McPeaks, stole it, reworked it, and they gave the world a whole new song called Will You Go, Lassie Go. It was originally called The Braze of Balquitter. And uh, when the McPeaks got a hold of it, reworked it, it became more popular than the original song. And every Irish festival that I play at, they usually finish up with this one on the final day, get all the musicians up on stage singing it together. And the chorus, and we'll all go together to pluck wild mountain thyme, that's T-H-Y-M-E, all around the blooming heather. Will you go, lassie, go? Do the chorus first so you get the hang of it. And we'll all go together to pluck wild mountain thyme all around the blooming heather. Will you go, lassie, go? Want to try that with me? And we'll all go together to pluck wild mountain thyme All around the blooming heather Will you go, lassie, go? Oh, the summer time is coming And the leaves are sweetly blooming And the wild mountain Rolls around the blooming heather Will you go, lassie, go? Ready? And we'll all go together To pluck wild mountain thyme All around the blooming heather Will you go, lassie? I will build my love a bower Near yon pure crystal fountain And on it I will pile All the flowers of the mountain Will you go, lassie, go And we'll all go together And we'll all go together to pluck wild mountain thyme All around the blooming heather Will you go, lassie, go? If my true love, she were gone I would surely find no other To pluck wild mountain all around the blooming heather Will you go, lassie, go? And we'll all go together To pluck wild mountain thyme All around the blooming heather Will you go, lassie? Oh, the summer time is coming And the leaves are sweetly blooming 
And the wild mountain thyme Grows around the blooming heather Will you go, lassie, go? And we'll all go together To pluck wild mountain thyme All around the blooming heather Will you go, lassie, go? On your own! And we'll all go to All around, all around Will you go, lassie, go? Will you go, lassie, go? Oh, lovely singing. You are in fine voice this evening. Should have done that with my mask, but... Pollen season is starting, so if I start sneezing in the middle of this performance, you'll have to forgive me. Hard to believe, isn't it? Anybody put their snow shovel away yet? I didn't. I don't trust Mother Nature. Are you kidding? I've seen snowstorms in April and May. I'm not putting my snow shovel away. I was doing a little whiskey song earlier. I want to do a couple more for you. Now, this one is a Scottish song. What the heck would they know about whiskey? <laughs> I mean, they take the E out of it. I mean, really, what's that about? But the Scots Gaelic, that's the Gaelic language, and the Irish Gaelic, it's the same root, wishkabaha, meaning water of life. Same thing. The Scot, well, I will give this to the Scots over the Irish. They make better Scotch whiskey than we do. We make better Irish whiskey than they do. So it all comes out in the wash, so to speak. Anyway, this song is... Whiskey is personified by the young man in the song who is addicted to whiskey. And he calls her Nancy. Nancy Whiskey. Guy was a weaver. Took to the drink. Lost his weaving job. Ended up going on the road. I'm a weaver, a Carlton weaver. I'm a rash and a rolling blade I've got silver in my pouches I'm going for the roving trade Whiskey, whiskey, Nancy, whiskey Whiskey, whiskey, Nancy, oh Whiskey, whiskey, Nancy, whiskey Whiskey, whiskey, Nancy, oh As I rode out through Glasgow city Nancy whiskey I chanced to smell I went in, sat down beside her Seven long years I loved her well Whiskey, whiskey, Nancy whiskey Whiskey, whiskey, Nancy, oh Whiskey, whiskey, Nancy whiskey Whiskey, whiskey, Nancy, oh. First I kissed her, then I hugged her. The more I loved her, the more she smiled. I forgot my mother's teaching. Nancy soon had me beguiled. Whiskey, whiskey, Nancy, whiskey. Whiskey, whiskey, Nancy, oh Whiskey, whiskey, Nancy, whiskey Whiskey, whiskey, Nancy, oh I rose early in the morning To quench my thirst, it was my need I tried to rise, but I wasn't able Nancy had me by the head 
Whiskey, whiskey, Nancy, whiskey. Whiskey, whiskey, Nancy, oh. Whiskey, whiskey, Nancy, whiskey. Whiskey, whiskey, Nancy, oh. Quick landlady, what's the law? Tell me what I have to pay. Fifteen shillings is the reckoning. Pay me now and be on your way. Whiskey, whiskey, Nancy, whiskey. Whiskey, whiskey, Nancy, oh. Whiskey, whiskey, Nancy, whiskey. Whiskey, whiskey, Nancy, oh. Now I'm going back to the Colton weaving. I'm gonna make them shuttles fly. For I made more at the Colton weaving than ever I made in the Roman way. Whiskey, whiskey, Nancy, whiskey. Whiskey, whiskey, Nancy, oh. Whiskey, whiskey, Nancy, whiskey. Whiskey, whiskey, Nancy, oh. I notice most of you aren't singing along, and that's probably because this is a Scottish song, the Scottish chorus that you're unfamiliar with. So uh, I'll do a couple of verses again, but we'll do it American style for you so you can join them. We're going to do it 50s doo wop style. I want all the men to sing. Boom. And the ladies? While I'm singing, whiskey, whiskey, Nancy, whiskey, bum, 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 whiskey, whiskey, Nancy, oh, whiskey, whiskey, Nancy, whiskey, bum, 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 bum. Whiskey, whiskey, Nancy, oh. Now I'm a weaver, a cult and weaver. Bum, 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 bum. I'm a rash and a rolling blade. I've got silver in my pouches. I'm going for the rolling trade. Do your parts. Whiskey, whiskey, Nancy, whiskey. Whiskey, whiskey, Nancy, oh. Whiskey, whiskey, Nancy, whiskey, blah, 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 blah. Whiskey, whiskey, Nancy, oh. Now I'm going back to the Colton weaving. I'm gonna make them shuttles fly. For I made more at the Colton weaving. Than ever I made in the rolling way. Change parts. Whiskey, whiskey, Nancy, whiskey. Whiskey, whiskey, Nancy, oh. Whiskey, whiskey, Nancy, whiskey. Blah, 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 blah. Whiskey, whiskey, Nancy, oh. Too silly, too silly. I think some of the gentlemen strained something there trying to hit those high notes. Yeah. Speaking of which, maybe time for a little yodeling. I have to have a yodel every day or I'll just go simply mad. I went across to Switzerland where all the yodelers be to try to learn to yodel with my yodel. I climbed a big high mountain on a clear and a sunny day. Met a yodel and gallop in a little Swiss chalet. She taught me to yodel. She taught me to yodel. On your own. Oh, do you like going along? Take it. Obviously, you need some help here. Okay. 
Three vowels, A, E, and O. A. Now break your voice and draw it. A. Okay, break your voice again. Put a no on the end. A, O. Put the word yodel in front of it. Yodel, A, O. You're yodeling. How hard was that? I'm gonna teach you how to yodel just like me. It's easy when you're singing. Go yodel. First, you take a deep breath and count up one, two, three. Then you'll hear a yodel if you do it just like me. This is how to yodel. This is how to yodel. Okay, just the women. Sing! Okay, man, show them how it's done. Okay, now the real men. You people aren't impressed by this at all. You hear yodeling every day of the week here in Easton, Maryland, don't you? So this doesn't come as a surprise. If I were to do it in a higher key, and even faster, thereby risking serious injury to my nether regions, would that impress you? Yeah, well, you have to ask for it higher and faster. I can't hear you. Oh, all right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh crap, it's stuck. Excuse me. I hate it when that happens. Oh, got my big boy voice back. Let's try another one of them. Oh, nice shirt. Did that used to be a tablecloth in a Greek restaurant? <laughs> Very attractive. And it's lovely they come in that size, isn't it? Yes. You wear it with such, such panache. Elan. You should be a male model. Of what? I don't know, but... Anyway, <laughs> bet you're sorry you went back there now, aren't you? Uh... <laughs> it is. I mentioned there that uh, I came over from the Annapolis side of the bridge, and Annapolis has some great restaurants. Oh, my goodness. Irish restaurants, Italian, French, Greek, you name it, we got them, and they're all good. My wife and I were downtown uh, last week, and we walked by this lovely upscale restaurant, and a beautiful aroma came wafting out the front door right up under my wife's nostrils, and she took a big deep inhale. She said, oh, that smells heavenly, and I figured, what the heck, I'll treat her. So I turned her around and walked her past the front door again. Anyway, we went in and we ordered a bottle of wine. We were sipping at the wine. There was a lady just right across from us, getting hammered, firing back cocktails like they were going out of style. Manhattans, martinis, cosmopolitans. Uh, as we say in Ireland, she was drinking like a man with no elbow. <laughs> My wife says, do you see the way that woman's drinking? I said, I do. She said, do you know her? I said, well, actually, she used to be my old college sweetheart, and when we broke up, she took to the drink, and she's been that way ever since. My wife says, my God, how can one person celebrate for so long?
The waitress came over to take our order. I said, I'd like a quickie, please. Well, she gave me the dirtiest look imaginable. She turned around on her heel and she stalked off in a huff. And my wife slapped me up the back of the head. She said, it's pronounced quiche. <laughs> Got in trouble at the bar. Three rather hefty ladies there speaking with a distinct Celtic accent. I said, excuse me, are you three ladies from Scotland? They said, Wales, you idiot, Wales. I said, okay, are you three Wales from Scotland? <laughs> One of them had a little bit too much to drink, climbed up on a table, started dancing. I walked past on my way to the restroom. I said, whoa, great legs. She said, do you think so? I said, yeah, any other table would have collapsed long ago. <laughs> anyway, I got out of there in one piece. So <laughs> I'm going to do this other whiskey song for you. You know what moonshine is, don't you? In Ireland, uh, we've got different names for it. And uh, depending on where you come from. Away, away out in the west of Ireland, once again, around Connemara, where they speak the Gaelic. It's called Potchin. Down around County Kerry, it's called Paint Thinner. <laughs> and up in the north of Ireland, where I come from, we call it Holy Water. <laughs> because they say it has miraculous powers. In fact, there is a, a case on record of Potchin making a deaf man blind. If that's not a miracle, I don't know what is. <laughs> Near yonder little hill, there's a neat little still With the smoke curling up to the sky By the smoke and the smell, you can plainly tell That there's potching my boys nearby For it fills the air with an odour rare and betwixt both me and you As home you stroll You can have a bowl Or a bucket full of mountain dew Now the learned men Who can use the pen Have wrote the praises high Of the sweet potching from Ireland green, distilled from the wheat and rye. For it fills the air with an odor rare, and betwixt both me and you. As home you stroll, you can have a bowl, or a bucket full of mountain dew. Throw away your pills, it will cure the ills, of pagan or Christian or Jew Take off your coat And grease your throat With a bucket full of mountain dew For it fills the air with an odor rare And betwixt both me and you As home you stroll You can have a bowl Or a bucket full of mountain dew or a bucket full of mountain dew. Thank you. A pretty little song. I'm going to see if I can remember this one. One of the great things about the layoff that we had was dredging up songs from the uh, Marianas Trench of my memory. Hoping I can remember some of the words. Did these songs years ago. And... Uh, some of them just fell by the wayside. As you learn new songs, you know, they sort of elbow the old ones out of the way. And I'm going to see if I can dredge this one up for you. Johnny was out in the garden one day Playing with his little white mouse Having such fun with his little pet When Gertrude came out of the house I've got one of those, Gertrude said No, you haven't, you have not well, I bet you three cookies to a stick of gum I've got everything that you've got Well, Johnny pulled up his little red shirt And laid his navel bare 
pointing to his belly button, he said, I bet you haven't got one of them there. Oh yes I have, oh yes I have, pulling up her shirt said Gert. The only difference between mine and yours, mine isn't filled with dirt. Then Johnny dropped his little pair of pants and exposed what lay beneath. When Gertrude saw she hadn't got one, she was overcome with grief. She dropped her mouse, ran into the house, crying for her mom. She said, Johnny's got something underneath his pants, and mommy, I haven't got one. A little while later, she came back out, her face all free from doubt. Johnny was jumping and dancing and singing and waving his thing about. I don't care, Gertrude said, she began to tease and taunt. Mama says, as long as I've got one of these, I'll get all of those that I want. I uh, forgot that one was still in there, but they have a way of making their way to the surface, don't they? I want to do a song from uh, Galway in Ireland. I bring tour groups. Well, I didn't bring a tour group last year or this year to Ireland, and we usually have a good... Matter of fact, I got some survivors of my trips to Ireland over there. How are you guys doing? Yeah, you wore masks in Ireland too, but you were robbing banks at the time. I remember. Had to pay for the trip, didn't you? <laughs> uh, Americans love to see Galway Bay because they've heard the Bing Crosby song all about Galway Bay. So they're, they're like Japanese tourists. They get out with their cameras and they're just snap, snapping pictures of it all over the place. So I'm going to sing Galway Bay for you. Maybe someday I'll go back again to Ireland If my dear old wife would only pass away for she nearly has my heart broke with her nagging She's got a mouth as big as Galway Bay See her drinking 16 pints of Pabst Blue Ribbon Still she can walk home without a sway If the sea was beer instead of salty water She'd surely live and die in Galway Bay See her drinking 16 pints at Murphy's Bar Room when the barman says it's time to go She doesn't try to answer him in Gaelic But in a language that the clergy do not know On her back she has tattooed a map of Ireland And when she takes her bath St. Patrick's Day She rubs the Irish spring soap around by Clada just to watch the suds flow down by Galway Bay. <laughs> Just get you right in the old Jarvik 7, that one, doesn't it? How many people remember the Jarvik 7? How many people have one? <laughs> Did you get parts for it? Sorry, I better do the proper Galway Bay after that. The Bing Crosby one. My grandmother, God love her, Belfast, couldn't believe that a grown man was called Bing. And all her life she called him Ben. Yeah, Ben Crosby. Nope, couldn't possibly be called Bing. She also called Johnny Mathis, Johnny Matthews. <laughs> Couldn't get a hang of his name either. <laughs> if you ever go across the sea to Ireland, maybe at the closing of your day, you will sit and watch the moon rise over Clada. And see the sun go down on Galway Bay Just to hear again the ripple of the trout stream The women in the meadows make 
walking hay And we sit beside a turf fire in a cabin And watch the barefoot gossips at their play Oh, the breezes blowing o'er the sea from Ireland Are perfumed by the heather as they blow And the women in the uplands digging craties Speak a language that the strangers do not know For the strangers came and tried to teach us their ways They scorned us just for being what we are But they might as well go chasing after moonbeams a penny candle from a star And if there's going to be a life hereafter Somehow I'm sure there's going to be I will ask my God to let me make my heaven In that dear land across the Irish Sea Thank you. I was talking with the travel agent that I normally do my trips to Ireland and Europe with and uh, as I mentioned we lost last year's trips and this year's trips but next year we're hoping to get them up and going and so in May I'll be taking a tour group to Scotland and Ireland. We're going to be visiting Edinburgh, Glasgow, Inverness, the Highlands of Scotland and then coming over to Ireland and doing a bit of sightseeing there but we're also going to do a European riverboat cruise which we had scheduled for last year and this year. Uh, we're going to go from Paris down to the Normandy beaches where we will see where the landings occurred on D-Day. And if you'd like to, to join us, just keep an eye on my website. I'll be putting up information as soon as I have the details, okay? And it usually is a lot of fun because not only on the riverboat cruise, not only do I have the guitar with me and we're singing for you, and you stop in towns and we get to see all these beautiful sites of historical import visiting vineyards, but we also go ashore and we loot, plunder, pillage, and burn <laughs> and get back on the boat and get the hell out of there. <laughs> Essentially like Vikings, you know, we have a really good time doing that. So if you'd like to join us for that. <laughs> One of my favorite places is Dublin. Well, it's my favorite because I went to college there. And, uh, I went and uh, did a, an undergraduate degree and it was the, the 10 longest years of my life. But, <laughs> but we had a good time. Now, the theme song of Dublin is about a young woman called Molly Malone. She wheeled her wheeled barrow through streets broad and narrow, crying cockles and mussels alive, alive, oh. And a few years back, they had a statue of Molly Malone at the bottom of Grafton Street, right across from Trinity College. And the sculptor made Molly Malone somewhat, what, what's the word, décolleté. <laughs> you know, off the shoulder and plunging neckline. There's a lot of cleavage there. And the city fathers didn't think this was suitable for tourists visiting Dublin, and so they moved it away into a little back street somewhere. So you, you really have to go and hunt it out now. But Dubliners have an absolutely marvelous sense of humor, and they referred to the statue as the tart with the cart. <laughs> <laughs> and they all, this is true as well. 
they also did a, a sculpture that was supposed to represent the spirit of the River Liffey. That's the main river that flows through Dublin. It's called Anna Livia. So they had this thing, and it, it looked like a, a stylized woman with long flowing hair in what was essentially looked like a giant bathtub. Uh, it's, it's still there, I believe. And Dubliners, of course, took to calling that the whore in the sewer. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to sing about Molly Malone for you. She wheeled her wheel barrow through streets broad and narrow, crying cockles and mussels, alive, alive, oh. Alive, alive, oh. Alive, alive, oh. Crying cockles and mussels, alive, alive, oh. Want to sing it with me? Alive, alive, oh. Alive, alive, oh. Crying cockles and mussels, alive, alive, oh. In Dublin's fair city, where the girls are so pretty, I first set my eyes on sweet Molly Malone. As she wheeled her wheelbarrow through streets broad and narrow, crying cockles and mussels, Alive, alive, oh, ready? Alive, alive, oh, alive, alive, oh, crying cockles and mussels, alive, alive, oh. She was a fishmonger, sure it was no wonder, her father and mother, they both mounted fish too. And they both wheeled their barrels through streets broad and narrow, crying cockles and mussels, alive, alive, oh. On your own. Alive, alive, alive. Crying and... That was lovely. She died of a fever, no one could save her, and that was the end of sweet Molly Malone. Now her ghost wheels her barrow through streets broad and narrow, crying cockles and mussels, alive, alive, oh, just this half of the audience over here, alive. Alive, crying, and uh, that shouldn't be too hard to beat. Okay, just you guys. Alive, you won. Crying cockles and mussels, alive, alive, oh. Last time, everybody. Alive. Alive, oh, alive, alive, oh, crying cockles and mussels, alive, alive, oh. Lovely singing. You are singing like birds this evening. Vultures, but you're singing. That's all that counts. Doesn't have to be good. Most of you are unaware of the fact that Molly Malone was not originally an Irish song. It was originally a Mexican song. Yeah, it was called Juanita Suarez. And you're probably wondering how a Mexican folk song could make it to Ireland, get accepted into our culture, and then come back here to the United States. Let me explain how. During the great refried bean famine of 1867, when the refried bean crop came in very poorly, the old bean farmers had to emigrate, and the really unfortunate ones just made it as far as Texas, where their brains withered on their brain stems, dried up, fell off, and rattled around inside their heads like maracas, and they became Dallas Cowboys fans. <laughs> In 
The really lucky ones made it all the way to Ireland in their specially designed boats that rode very low through the waves of the Atlantic Ocean. And when they got there, they mingled with the local population and they came up with a whole new subculture called Leprechaunos. <laughs> and of course, the Irish culture and the Mexican culture mixed. And you can see evidence even today in things like soda bread tortillas, <laughs> potatoes rancheros, and a pint of Guinness with a wedge of lime and salt round the rim of the glass. That's a Dublin margarita. Sometimes we put an umbrella into it. Not a little paper one, a real one. But I'm going to sing the original Mexican version for you. And what I need you to do to help me, I would like you all to make the little noises associated with Mexican music at Fiesta time in Dublin. Rija, andale, andale, oil of ole, eat the worm, caramba, arriba, bigara. So, can we hear some of those noises right now, please? <laughs> In Mexico City, where the girls are muy pretty, it's there that I first met Juanita Suarez. And she led her burro through these streets broad and narrow, crying tacos and nachos for five pesos, for five pesos. Noises! Five pesos. Tacos and nachos for five pesos. She was a baker, an enchilada maker. So were her madre y padre before. And they led their burros through these streets broad and narrow, crying tacos and nachos for five pesos, for five pesos. Noises! Five pesos. Tacos and nachos for five pesos. She went to a fiesta, took a permanent siesta. That was Finita Juanita Suarez. Now her ghost leads her burro Through these streets broad and narrow Crying tacos and nachos for five pesos For five pesos Five pesos Tacos and nachos for five pesos Okay, I'm going to do a verse and a chorus again This time I want all the ladies to play the air castanets I want the gentleman to play the air maracas for five pesos, five pesos. Excuse me, ma'am, you're doing the maracas, it's casting, casting it. <laughs> for five pesos, five pesos, tacos and nachos for five pesos in Mexico City, where the girls are muy pretty. There that I first met Juanita Suarez And she led her burro Through these streets broad and narrow Crying tacos and nachos for five pesos Change instruments for five pesos Excuse me, sir For five pesos Five pesos Tacos and nachos for five pesos Muchas gracias, amigos. Eh, los empleados deben lavarse las manos en test de regresar al trabajo. Gracias. Employees must wash hands before returning to work. <laughs> Didn't you read the signs in the horse trailer? Uh, got, oh, oh, excuse me, this is so tacky. Forgive me, my cell phone just went off. This is so unprofessional. Well, you're thinking to yourselves, there's a handy dandy little item, isn't it? <laughs> Looks just like a cell phone, comes with its own little carrying case that clips right on your belt. 
Where can I get one of those handy dandy little devices? I hear you asking yourselves. Well, I happen to be selling them out at the main door with my CDs. The CDs are $10 each, the flask is 15 bucks each. It's worth it for a really good giggle. You can get them on board aircraft, I know. Been there, done that. I want to do one more Dublin song for you. Uh, Brendan Behan, a very famous Irish author, playwright, was also a marvelous songwriter and uh, singer as well. And I'm going to do a song that he wrote while he was in prison for what we euphemistically refer to in Ireland as political activities. Back in the uh, 30s, late 30s and early 40s, was in the IRA and did some naughty things. But he wrote a, uh, a song while he was in, in prison. It's called The Old Triangle. And the triangle was the sound that called the prisoners to their meals. A hungry feeling came o'er me stealing and the mice were squealing in my prison cell and the old triangle went jingle jangle all along the banks of the royal canal now the day was dawning the screws were bawling jump up your bowsies and clean up your cell and the old triangle went jingle jangle all along the banks of the royal canal and the day was dying skinner mac lay sighing dreaming about his girlfriend sal and the old triangle went jingle jangle all along the banks of the royal canal in the name of jesus would you raise me wages from 30 shillings to one pound ten and the old triangle went jingle jangle all along the banks of the royal canal all along the banks of the Royal Canal. <laughs> Brendan Behan. Thank you. Uh, one of the things I missed this year was performing for a Burns Supper in January. And uh, I do this, I've done this for a particular group for quite a few years where you know, they serve up the haggis, and there's a toast to the haggis, and we sing Robert Burns songs. Robert Burns, of course, was George Burns' brother. <laughs> but his wife wasn't called Gracie. So. No, Robbie Burns, very famous Scottish poet. And uh, I want to do a couple of his songs. The first one here is probably his best known one, because everybody sings it once a year. Should old acquaintance be forgot And never brought to mind Should old acquaintance be forgot And days of lying sign For old lying sign, my dear For old lying sign We'll take a cup of oh, kindness yet for old lying sign. We twa a paddle in the burn from morning sun till dine. 
But seas between us braid a road Sin old lying sign For old lying sign, my dear For old lying sign We'll take a cup of kindness yet For old lying sign We twa run about the braes and pulled the gowans fine we wandered money a weary foot sin old lying sign for old lying sign my dear for old lying sign we'll take a cup Oh, kindness, yeah, for old lying sign. Now here's my hand, my trusty fear, and gives a hand of thine. We'll take a right good woolly walk for old lying sign. For old lying sign, my dear, for old lying sign, we'll take a cup of kindness yet for old lying sign. Robert Burns. Gies a hand, my trusty fear, and gies a hand of thine. Give me your hand, my trusty friend, and here's a hand of mine. We'll take a recht good woolly wacht. We'll take a really good long drink of strong ale. For old lang syne, for the memory of times gone by. Poetic. Another Burns song. Will you gang and tay the Heelands, Lizzie Lindsay? Will you gang and tay the Heelands, we me? Will you gang and tay the Heelands, Lizzie Lindsay? My bride and my darling to be. Why can he go with you, sir? Such a thing it never can be For I know not the name you go by Or why you roam wild and free Will you gang and tay the Heelands, Lizzy Lindsay? Will you gang and tay the Heelands we meet? Will ye gang into the Heelands, Lizzie Lindsay? My bride and my darling to be. Lovely Lizzie, you're sadly mistaken. If you see but a beggar in me, Ronald MacDonald I'm a chieftain no high degree Will you gang and tay the Heelands Lizzie Lindsay Will you gang and tay the Heelands we me Will you gang and tay the Heelands Lizzie Lindsay My bride and Gathered her skirts of white satin She's kilted them over her knee And she rides with Lord Ronald MacDonald 
his bride and his garland to be. Try and sing it with me. Will you gang and take the healings, Lizzy Lindsay? Will you gang and take the healings, we me? Will you gang and take the healings, Lizzy Lindsay? My bride and my darling to be. Ah, uh, the Scots have some lovely songs too. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to my last song for the evening. If you enjoyed yourselves, my name is Seamus Kennedy. If you did not enjoy yourselves, my name is Wayne Newton. <laughs> May as well get him blamed. He's not here. I mean, can't defend himself. But it's a lovely Irish song to wind up the festivities. I'm really honored that uh, the Stoltz Pavilion asked me to be their very first guinea pig <laughs> for their concert series here thank you very much indeed to the Stoltz and uh, also the Stoltz listening room in the Avalon uh, when and if it opens that listening room is a marvelous venue as well and don't forget all the wonderful films movies and acts musical acts that you can hear in the Avalon please support this great theater um, How about a, a round of applause for our sound gentleman down there doing the lights and all the sound. And thanks, lads. Appreciate it very much. If you can make me sound good, oh, you're miracle workers. Well, this is a lovely song called The Parting Glass. Want you all to drive safely. Don't forget the three W's. Wash your hands, wear your mask, and whack anybody that gets within six feet of you. Of all the money that e'er I spend, I spent it in good company. And all the harm that e'er I've done, it was to none alas but me. And all I've done for want of wit, to memory now I can't recall. So fill to me a parting glass, good night and joy be with you all. Oh, if I had money enough to spend and leisure time to sit a while, there is a fair maid in this town who sorely has my heart beguiled. Her rosy cheeks, her ruby lips, I own she has my heart in thrall. So I'll fill to her a parting glass. Good night and joy be with you all. Oh, all the comrades that e'er I had, they are sorry for my going away. And all the sweethearts that e'er I had would wish me one more day to stay. But since it falls unto my lot that I should rise and you should not, I will gently rise and I'll softly call. Good night. And joy be with you all. God bless. Thanks for coming. Please drive safely. I want to see you all again. <laughs>